Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining me today. So today is just going to be a quick video. So I've switched up my skincare routine, in particular my moisturiser. And I saw this in the drawer. I'm not actually getting any more moisturiser or skincare until I actually need it because I'm on the low buy. I'm going to do a video on the low buy and basically tell you my rules around it because I haven't filmed one yet. So it's the Olay Instant Radiance that lasts. Olay Vitality with an SPF of 15 Radiance Day Cream. It just comes in a box like that. Um, and it says cleanse daily with an Olay cleanser to remove impurities and makeup. I've just cleansed with my Neutrogena cleanser. You don't need to use an Olay cleanser to get the same effects as you would. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going. You don't need to use an Olay cleanser in my opinion. You can just use whatever cleanser you've got in your collection. And step two, prepare using no layer serum to prepare skin for the rest of your regimen. I don't have an Olay serum, so obviously I've skipped that step. Step three is to treat eye. Apply ultimate eye cream daily around eyes, paying special attention to dark circles, eye bags and crow's feet. And then the last step is this step which is moisturise. I might look for the rest of the things in this collection. I did get this from Home Bargains, I believe. I think it was only 2 99 So step four is moisturise. Apply an Olay SPF moisturiser for day and anti-aging moisturiser at night. Use every morning on cleansed skin. Caution, avoid direct contact with eyes. If eye contact occurs, rinse well with water. If skin or eye irritation develops, discontinue use. So it comes in a pretty clear tube like that. Um, nothing much to report. You get 50 mils. Um, it lasts 12 months which it won't in my case because this is the only one I'm using now. So I just thought we would put some on. So, let me get my little mirror. Right, so I've just got like a pea size amount. Mm, it smells really nice like Olay products. I'm taking it under the eye area because that's where I'm the driest. So I was waiting for a parcel to come today from Royal Mail that I ordered from eBay and it's not come which is highly unusual because when they say that something's going to get delivered it always gets delivered on that day or the day before. Probably come on Monday now. I want a bit more on my cheek area. So my mum's actually going to be staying with me till next Thursday. Um, she would have been staying with me for a week and a half at that point. There's some work going on in the house and I said she could just stay here. Now, obviously it's not ideal just because it's not a two bedroom flat, it's a one bedroom flat. Um, and the only place that I have for her to sleep is on the sofa, which I don't really like. I've got the most comfortable sofa. But I don't really like her sleeping on it, just purely because she's a 71 year old woman. Um, I did I did offer her my bed but she said no, um, so that's where she's staying at the moment. I do need to invest in a sofa bed or something like that I think. But I'm just not used to having guests here. Right, so it says on the back of the box, all day moisture boost with instant radiance that lasts. Now, I'm not noticing any radiance, but it might be one of those things that you have to try over a period of time. So I'm going to keep using it for the next month. Um, what date are we on today? So as I'm filming this, it's currently the 17th of July, I'll show you, just so you know. I'll also take a picture of this so I can insert it into the video. So, 
20 to 3 nearly, um, Saturday the 17th of July. I really need to get my skates on because I need to film another look with the Colourpop fade into hue palette. I've only got two more looks to do. Today is the blue look, so we're going to be filming that once I've got the rest of my base on. This does actually feel really, really nice. It feels a little bit tacky, but it's not dried down yet. So it might make a good makeup base. Um, but yeah, so far so good with the moisturiser or day cream. I'm really happy with that. I will be giving you regular updates on that and also regular updates on my low buy. So far so good with the low buy, but I have only been on it since the beginning of July. But the last time I bought makeup, was the 30th of May so we're not doing too bad I've not bought makeup in like close to two months but I did only go on the low buy in July so um yeah any purchases that I've made I will do an update on that but I want to film a video on why I'm going on this low buy in the first place um so that'll probably go up in the next few days when I can sit down and film it I've got so many videos that I need to film so I've got those two looks with the colour part fading to hue then I can put the entire video up I've got to shot my stash to film and I think that's it but then obviously we'll bring more palettes out and I'll be doing looks with them so um we're going to conclude the video here guys thank you so much for joining me today let me know what day cream you use if you found any good ones for mature skin i would really love to know please like it really does help out the channel share and comment and if you're not already subscribed i would love for you to hit that subscribe button i'm currently working on a giveaway and that will go up in the next month or so and i would love for you to take part in it and i will see you in the next one guys bye